everyone and welcome to the kitchen. I'm Chef Brian cooking fresh with Green Giant and today I'm going to show you how to do an all-time classic spud nuts with the Klondike Gourmet Potatoes. So let's get started. The spud nut is actually a donut, but it's kind of different from maybe the donuts you're familiar with. There are actually two major differences. First of all, this one doesn't have yeast in it, whereas a regular donut does have yeast. And this one has mashed potatoes, whereas a regular donut doesn't. Now, of course, going over what I'm going to put into this, it's really quite simple. I'm going to use the Klondike Gourmet Potatoes. Now, the, there are six different kinds of varieties of this potato from purple, red, gold, and that's the one I'm going to use. It's actually a mini version of the Klondike Gold Dust Potato. Also, just a little bit of milk, some flour, salt. This is actually shortening and you want to melt it. And so that's kind of unique with a the recipe. There's going to be some vanilla, sugar, and baking powder, and a couple of eggs that I've just simply beaten. So first what we're going to do is just mash up these potatoes I have. Now I've already pre-boiled these, I've left the skin on, and you certainly can because the skin is so thin, it's really going to just add more flavor to this particular recipe. So just simply mash them up. And you want to work on this for just a little bit because you don't want large pieces of the potato. There we go, that's looking great. And let's just clean off our potato smasher there. This always used to be my job when I was a kid. I got to mash the potatoes. Just gonna use a fork and mash up any large pieces that may be left. There we go, that looks good. Now to the potatoes, I'm going to add the eggs. We're going to add some milk to it. And at this point, I kind of like to mix it all together just to make sure things are mixing well. Looking good. We're going to add our sugar, as well as our baking powder. The baking powder is what actually makes the donut, the spud nut, rise when we fry them. So mix all of that together. And last few ingredients, we want about a teaspoon of salt. Our melted shortening, and it's important that you melt it. You don't want to put the solid shortening in here because it will actually combine different. And so that's why you want to melt it so that it will blend in there well. And we're going to add our vanilla. Now I hope you've noticed I've actually added all of the wet ingredients first because here's the tricky part with a spud nut. Because of moisture content with different a variety of potatoes, you want to be able to add just enough flour to pull it into a soft dough. So depending on the type of potato, this Klondike Gourmet is going to take just about a cup. Add that in and then we're going to mix it together and see where we're at. So just once again, add enough flour to pull it into a soft dough. At some point, you will want to stick your hand right in there and finish working that together. Now you can see that I've just simply added enough flour to pull it into a soft dough and that's what you're looking for. Don't worry if there's some excess flour in the bowl. We'll use that on the counter as we roll them out. Okay, let me get this cleared off. And we'll just roll out our spud nuts. Now I do have kind of a fun little donut cutter and you can get these at most stores that sell cutters for this. I've also seen people use just glasses actually, the size that you want and cut them out that size too. Because this is a really soft dough, I guess it's kind of, rolling out is kind of a term just meaning we're going to press this out because if you took a rolling pin, you could get it too thin. That's one of the big problems when people are rolling out doughs, they may get it too thin. Remember, we don't want this to go that way because as we fry it, we want a nice, fluffy spud nut. 
That's looking great. And you can see how easily that pushes out. Now I'm just going to take my cutter. Cut us out some spud nuts. And I always like to save the, the whole portion because I'll fry those up as well. Just cut this last one. Once you get enough to go into the oil, I would recommend putting them into the oil. Now this is very important. Since it is hot oil, about 375 degrees, what you want to do is you put the, the spud nut down and let it fall away from you so that it doesn't splash any oil on you. So you just want to cook these. It doesn't take long until they're nice and golden brown. Then I take them out, put them onto a plate that just has a paper towel on it to help soak up any additional grease. And we'll just keep cooking them here. Now I'm using, this is a little spider whisk or ladle essentially. You can buy it at any specialty kitchen store. It's generally where they sell um, like oriental cooking things for wok cooking and it makes great for scooping things out of a deep fryer. So here we have some fun spud nuts. Reminds me of being a kid again. There we go. You can glaze these if you want to with a powdered sugar glaze with a little bit of cream in it or you can simply dust them with some powdered sugar and that's what I'm going to do is just dust them up with some powdered sugar. It's kind of fun way to do it. You actually just take a little strainer like this, pour your powdered sugar. I always put it over something because it'll start coming out. And then just put it right over top and lightly bump it. Those look delicious. Fun spud nuts, reminds me of when I was a kid. Use the Klondike Gourmet in there. They're fun, easy, and delicious. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Chef Brian, Cooking Fresh with Green Giant. I'll see you next time.